Yeah, exactly. The only things I could really think of that might have made a big difference for that last run are to make much riskier choices at certain points, like doing a boss swap instead of taking the 14 max health. Speaking of boss swap, are we going to boss swap with a defect? Yeah, let's do it. We get a coffee dripper, one of my favorites for the robot. Extra energy every turn. We can only upgrade at rest sites, no resting. Three streams. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's a little ambitious. I don't think we can do Watcher in three streams. Anytime where Niao's, ah, where Niao's Lament is less good than seven max health. I think if you can't get a free elite, it's better to take the max health. Uh, take a steam barrier. Barrage is no good with no starting orb. But free block is always nice. Sometimes. Sometimes always nice. You heard me. Are you kidding me? I'm one damage short. Rude. All because I took Steam Barrier and called it nice. My bad. Ah. Hmm. Defrag versus White Noise. This early? Hmm. Guess I'll take a Defrag. Not actually sure about that. That is definitely a better card than the Strike was. Um, this is a good start. White noise could be anything. It could even be a deep rag. One damage short this time. <laughs> Got him. Ball lightning seems good. We want some early damage. We want something that combos with a deep rag. So orbs are good. Take it. And now a thief. We'd like a cool-headed or a glacier or a cold snap next. <clears throat> Although we have no assurance of any such thing. Do pots pretty good? Oh, wow. Okay, we do get a glacier. Uh, thanks. Thanks for the glacier. This is a good start. Well, if I've got a Glacier, then I can fight another Elite. Let's do it. Let's do it. Four Energy Defect Act 1s are very silly. I really like Defect under these conditions. Very strong. Is this a perfect sentries fight? I think it might be. It is. Good fight. Get a mob bank giving us money each floor until we go to a shop, which won't be until next act. That's a very good mob bank. A dupe pot. And freaking creative AI, or maybe more reasonably a charge battery or even a sweeping beam. Actually, having some AoE damage is a really good idea as defect, so maybe the sweeping beam is better than it looks. That said, I do like an early creative AI as a long-term scaling option.
I'll take the sweeping beam, actually. Feels weird, but we're doing it. Um, but our first upgrade is going to be defrag, not sweeping beam. Fearless Iron, thanks for 36 months of support. Three full years. Is a lot of years. Hello. Why are we doing this? Very nasty fight, but we only took three damage. And I will definitely take a cool-headed. Draw a card and channel another Frost Orb for even more block. Love it. Aaron W. immediately corrected on the Sweeping Beam critique. Just wait. It's going to do more. We're also going to draw even more cards. We're already rich. This is going well. We're fighting a gremlin knob, though. That seems like a bit of a problem. Let's duplicate deep rag. So I have a bit more damage. We can do cool headed and zap here. Get some orbs down, turn one. There goes our hit points, they say. But do they actually? Do they actually go? Only 28 damage. Glacier. Easy game. Giga Brain. You were saying, Twitch chat? What about my hit points? <laughs> now we got a pen nib, pen nib hyper beam. All right. Seems good. Just do infinite damage. Not that hard. Astro Haynes, thanks for the 37 months. Or, no, sorry. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Where did I get 37? Not sure. Don't worry about it. Do worry about it. Current hit points, that's right. That makes sense, actually. Uh, looks like we'll be able to set up pen nib to nine here. Nib on nine is good. Heat sinks. I see this run taking heat sinks and doing really well with it. I'm going to grab this. And I guess with Pen Nib on 9, I'm going to upgrade Hyper Beam. So it does 68 damage to all enemies and kills the sentries immediately. And also, Remove Transformer upgrade. I actually like getting a hit on removes here. The less strikes the defect has, the happier they usually are. Grabbing an extra upgrade there was also entirely reasonable. I guess we'll wait on the hyper beam.
Full block. This is fine. Minus dexterity barely matters when we get 12 block per turn. Nice. We get a pair, giving us 10 max health. Definitely appreciated. And the green key. And we can take hologram to get a card back or chill for more frost orbs. I'm actually leaning towards hologram here. Especially with the hyper beam. Take a hollow. Uh, and we should probably consider upgrading Seek, although I could also see upgrading Sweeping Beam for Act 2. Let's get that Seek upgraded. Then we have a good duplication target. If we ever get offered a card dupe, which does sometimes happen. I don't think I want to hyper beam in this fight just yet. Let's wait. Wow. Okay. Um, we can do dual cast, steam barrier, hologram, glacier. That's pretty good. Locks for most of the damage. Now our main goal is to redraw into that hyper beam. Eighteen cards in the draw pile. It's not too bad. No luck here, though. Ouch. You get him, Sweeping Beam. Good work. BG. Definitely a tough slime boss fight, but we're through. We are rich. And we're loaded. But Core Surge and Machine Learning look pretty good here. Machine Learning for more card draw, especially with Heat Sinks. Whereas Core Surge can block a debuff, including the focus down of Hyper Beam. So I really like the Core Surge. Good seek target in general is it can block other debuffs like Chosen's Hex or Sneko's Confusion. Let's take that. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. And... Cursed Key, Velvet Choker, or Sacred Bark. Two flavors of energy with downsides or double the effectiveness of potions. I actually do not mind this Sacred Bark at all. I think it's very good with a Focus Potion in particular. I'm going to take that. Double Potions. Works with both current potions to help us get through Act 2. 
and can be a really good long-term uh, sort of deal for Act 4. This Act layout is a little sad, but only a little bit. We're going to start by going to a shop. Yeah, exactly. I didn't love those energy options very much. Go Core Surge Deep Rag, turn one. Love me in Equilibrium. 13 block for 2 energy, which is a nice dense card. And you get to retain your hand, which has all sorts of bonuses. Line up Hyper Beam with Pen Nib. Line up Core Surge with Bias Cog if we get one. Possibilities are endless, or at least nearly endless. We do get hexed, though. Don't like to be hexed. Hmm. Might need to push him. Actually, no, we don't. Because we could do this. Play the top six cards of the draw pile does seem pretty good. How about a skim plus? One energy draw four. That sounds pretty good. Yoink. How much do I value Ink Bottle? It's it's very good. It It's a little bit of a pain to keep track of, and sometimes it draws a card you really didn't want to draw, but it is very good on average. It's like one card every other turn, which is very strong. I'm going to take the Distilled over the Dupe Pot. Ride for a Curse. You know... Or uh, Writhe for a Relic, rather. This is one of the situations where it feels worth it, actually. We're not that huge in Relic count. We can remove the Writhe very quickly, and we've already gotten rid of several starter cards. So, I'll take it. Get a Ceramic Fish. Whenever you add a card to your deck, gain 9 gold. And look at that. We actually got 9 gold immediately. The value. The value. turn one. That's good, though. Hmm. This way. Much damage, sir. Or madam. Be back. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But wait, that's not perfect. Help. Terrible. Hmm. Sure hope you're dying. Maybe should have used a potion there.
Do I want to reboot? Do I want to reboot? And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of XJ Phil. Did you know that the defect has a large non-binary family? It's true. It has lots of trans sisters. And remember, trans rights are human rights. Waffle? Waffle counters Coffee Dripper pretty well. Seems good. 8 out of 88. That's great. Do I want a second heat sink? Uh, seems ambitious. I do like the idea of the Nunchaku giving us energy every 10 attacks. It's one after the pen nib, too, which is kind of cool. And it's a nice price. Sure, I'll take nunchucks. How do we feel about Doom and Gloom? Do we need more AoE? Kinda. Well, no, I've got Hyper Beam. No, we don't need Doom and Gloom. We have Hyper Beam. How about Vajra for just a little bit more damage? Seems like a waste, honestly. Seems like a bit of a waste. I'm gonna up... Uh, I don't have any upgrades. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, exactly. Not particularly worth unless we had, say, Barrage. Which we don't have. Probably our Distilled Chaos fight, if we get attacked. Not a guarantee. Um, Hyper Beam next turn with Hologram seems fine, actually. Although I don't need the Hologram. But Hyper Beam will kill all of the minions here. We do get attacked. Rude. We block for 21, take 12. That's not so bad. But I'm very likely to get a potion before the next elite anyway, so I might as well. Good. Gremlin Leader drops the Gremlin Horn, giving us an energy and a card draw when an enemy dies. And a freaking Echo Form. Gremlin Form. Horn? Either way, it's good. We just got a lot stronger at one floor there. But can we stop the Snake Plant? Easier said than done. Although Turn 1 Echo Form does help. Yep, that's an easy fight. Wait, you're alive. No, you're not. More focus. With all the draw we have, is upgrading Zap and Dual Cast a decent idea? Yeah, I think it is. 
Uh, although Defrag might eat the next upgrade now. Six turns of weakness, probably good in this fight. Yeah. Hmm. We can play it. It's worth it. Gotta do more damage, though. This is not enough damage. Very good fight. We score a potion belt. We got Sacred Bark Potion Belt. Very cool. Upgraded Hologram or Upgraded Go for the Eyes. Both also very cool. With how much card draw the deck has, I really like having a zero cost card. Um, so I'll take Defect's one and only source of weakness for later. And I guess we can take a Shuriken also, giving us uh, strength for three attacks played. That's not so bad. We're going to upgrade this defrag. And yeah, we can think about upgrading dual cast next. I think that's reasonable. <clears throat> Good fight. Recursion Plus. Okay. Yeah, this works really well with all the card draw. Evoke the next orb. Channel the orb that was just evoked for zero cost. Herbo's not terrible either, but with the current deck, I actually really like this upgraded recursion. Combat Defect. That's what they call him. Um, what about Grumlin Horn Defect? Is that a build? Surely that's a build. Unfortunately, my orbs are terrible, though. Sounds like a problem for future Railer. Or we could just gain our focus back, too. We should have put Echo Form in play, whatever. It's fine. Go. Excuse you. Oh no. Hmm. Well, we have hit points to spare, I suppose. Oops. My bad. We have normal focus now. Well, plus one. And then we win. Kunai to go with a shuriken. Awesome. Now we gain strength and dexterity for three attacks played. Which makes something like a cold snap a bit better. Although I'd rather have zero cost attacks. Screw it, I'll take a white noise. Eight plated armor is good. 
four strength is also good. All right, you nerds. Show me what you got. Hmm. 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 Curious. Perhaps not what I meant to do, but oh well. Or not what I was meant to do. It's okay to use a potion here if I want to. Do it. Essence of Darkness, one of my favorite potions with Sacred Bark. Channel two dark orbs for each orb slot. Wait, what? And an algorithm that's not too late. With uh, Echo Form, we can easily double this in many fights and make it quite good. Reprogram is kind of interesting too, but I think the deck has too much of an orb focus. Take the Algo. We're rich again. Not sure how that keeps happening. Let's upgrade this. Does focus increase the initial Dark Orb damage? It does not, no. No, it does not. Echo form, then heat sinks. Well, yeah, then heat sinks. And then the first card we play is doubled. Let's remove your artifact. Gain some of my own. Maybe I should consider the strength potion here. It's not a bad idea. Storm Creative AI. That's a fun combo. I like it. Perfect timing capacitor. Nice try, Hyper Beam Nerd. And that's why you take a white noise, by the way. GG. Ancient Pot gives two artifact. That's pretty good. Amplify can do powers. That's okay. How about another copy of Seek? 
the low, low price of $4.99. And our choice of Fusion Hammer, Black Star, or Busted Crown. Fusion Hammer, Busted Crown for energy options. Interesting. There's a few good upgrades left. The Cool Headed, the Seek. I think we're okay even if we don't get any more scaling options till the end game. We have we have really good late game scaling. So this is a surprisingly takeable busted crown. Let's do busted crown. It's been a while since I've done a busted crown run. Indeed, the deck seems fairly complete. Is a good description of it. Uh three more elites. So if I take this path, then it was Fusion Hammer that was better, objectively. Yeah, I should have gone Fusion Hammer. Unless I want to deliberately path into lots of upgrades, which I kind of do. Let's try that. Ever skipped a boss relic entirely? I have done it before. These days, I tend to think that it is better to not skip the boss relic, to try to use what you're given and make the most of it. But there are very rare circumstances where skipping the boss relic is doable. Um, you can win an A20 run with no boss relics if you really, really want to. It's not easy, but it is possible. Four artifacts. That's too much. Take one and more of these free recursions, though. They seem pretty good. A real storm ain't half bad an idea. I certainly do love Centennial Puzzle here for three more draw. Could take another double strength focus potion, too. That's a good focus potion for the end game. Chemical X does effectively nothing, unfortunately. I'll take that, uh, discard that. I'll take this focus pot. Right, even with only one card reward, we just get the good one anyway. Easy peasy. Whoops, I forgot about algorithm entirely. That's right, that's a card we have. I should use that card. Um, okay. Yay, saved. Full blocked. Easy. Like it never even happened. Double this. That's no good. <clears throat> Greetings, Jawworm nerds. I seek Hyper Beam. Actually, wait, I can't kill them all right now, right? I want to echo form the thingy. Hmm. Heck. Can't echo form algorithm if I kill them with Hyper Beam. Yeah. 
Guess I'll do this way then. Take uh, five just to get it set up. Totally worth it. And then when we draw the Hyper Beam, we can play it twice. Kill them all. And take a Turbo Plus, which will give us oodles of energy for one card. Totally worth it. Even more reason now to upgrade our card draw. So let's upgrade Cool Headed. Let's upgrade Seek. What's the ideal offset of Pennip Nunchucks? I like Nunchucks... Immediately before pen nib is my favorite, usually. There's a couple different ways to go about it, though. No. Excuse you, sir. Seek Equilibrium again on, on this turn. Keep all of these cards if I want. And then we can double uh, Genetic next turn. I'll take it. White Beast Statue guarantees a potion reward from every combat. I like that, too. And you know what? I think I do want one more Frost Orb with the double focus potion for late game. So let's do that. Where was Bag of Marbles last run? Hello? But my face, though. Okay, we have more face than we need. All is well. Six artifacts. <laughs> I don't think we need six. That's uh, the <laughs> too many. That's too many. Uh, we're going to upgrade what? Seek. I guess I'll fight one more elite. I'll fight one more elite. We'll do it. Block every debuff. All of them. Let's play it one time. I'm lazy. Dupe pot. Very good. 
double our next two cards. Let's take that over one of these ancient pots. This is a near perfect array of potions for the end game. It'll be very hard to lose from here. Although I'm sure we can find a way, don't worry. Uh-oh. That would be one way. Hmm. And yet, everything seems fine. Draw four, gain four energy back. Seems good. We should at least play the algorithm one time, though, if we can. Which we should be able to do. Of preparation. <clears throat> Two more cards on turn one. Very good. Varying a bottle would revive us to 60% of our current health is also pretty obscene. Second hyper beam is kind of hilarious here. I don't think we want this fairy. Given the current array of potions, we should have no trouble. Um, but it is kind of tempting. Kind of. I don't want the hyper beam either, sadly. No weakness for me, thank you. Isle Driver. Not bad, actually. It's more card draw. I like it. I like it. And we can finally upgrade the other Seek here to make it draw, too. So, going into the end game, we've got a very good Potion Belt. We've got a lot of hope in general. I think our odds here are quite good. Although this turn one is a little iffy. We could do Glacier Recursion or just Algorithm here. By Glacier Recursion, we also take some damage, which is actually helpful. In addition to getting Orbs set up. We draw three. That's going to be worth it. 
I uh, can't hyper beam until I have the thingy. Spooky. Let's double deep rag here. Okay, so we can seek core surge, then hyper beam. Let's seek for equilibrium. Already core surged. Equilibrium hologram. This should be an okay turn. Maybe. Oops. I should have done this without a pen nib. Whatever. <clears throat> okay, those nerds are dead. is worth it. Hello and welcome, Dumo Can. Welcome, welcome to the Cozy Sim Club, which, or rather, to the Cozy Viewership Club. You're not currently a sub. A lot of damage. Slowly scaling up that strength and dex is a win con here. Pretty good, actually. Paladin EX, thanks for the Prime sub in the 17 months. It's a lot of support. Skunai. I think those defense block for 16. Holy moly. GG. Can I up ink bottle a little bit here? Just a bit. One boss down. Next is Donu and Dekka here. Although we only have 39 hit points to start, I think that's going to be fine. 
based on this turn one. I think things will be fine. Hmm. I'll take that next turn, even with the cost associated. And now the Zampanir. Not a totally clean turn, though. That's all right. I just double hyper beam. Kills Donu. Almost kills Deca. Good. Pretty much perfect relic setup as well. I like it. BG, uh, two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all these mighty potions that nobody's been using this whole run? You charge your core to its maximum, dealing 2146. Have I been here before? Hmm. <clears throat> Mixing some hit points, though. Definitely. Uh, let's make this zero cost. We could have used the potions. We just didn't, because we wanted better potions. Better powers, too. Capacitor looks awesome for late-game scaling here. Um, Gold-plated cables effectively gives us one more orb as well, although we could consider boot thingy instead. I think I want to go Capacitor Cables. That alone is very good. And then there's enough money for a Turbo or a different Potion, just the colorless one. I don't think so. Barrage? No need. Compile Driver? No need? No need. Used to be like you. What if duplication potion hyperbeam here? We hyperbeam for 34 times 3, because the second one is pen nibbed. So we deal 102 damage to both of them. Lose 6 focus. Gain 1 energy back. Draw 1 card. Still have 1 card getting duped as well. 
Just getting rid of one of them quickly seems like a very good idea. Let's do that. Question is, what do I want the second card to be? We could double Compile Driver, but it doesn't draw any cards. Double Cool Headed is fine, I guess. Let's draw a lot of cards. Negative five, focus. Hmm. Hoping this would go a little better. Genetic, I think, is for next turn. So close. Probably just have to play genetic here. Means next turn is bad. Ugh. Yeah. Hmm. Don't like that. Right, because now... Bad times. Reekingly bad times. Shoot. Terrible. I was really hoping we could get the kill there. Just a little bit shy. Mistakes were definitely made, as you can see. All right, fine, I'll use this too. Lame. Hollywood, thanks for 44 months of support. Having a lot of health is pretty bad. Not having my relic set up is a little bit inconvenient. Get a Gambler's Brew as well as the Art of War. Art of War is quite good. And I have to believe that we got enough stuff here that our turn one is not so bad versus the heart. Especially with turn one echo form, that seems rather good, in fact. Double defrag next turn. Give seek in hand. We should be pretty safe here. Can double algorithm? Let's do that. Fine. Not to die to beat of death. Tough goal. Right, 
That's the last speed of death we should take, fortunately. Yikes. Terrible hands. Okay, let's double hello here. Orb's dealing actually good damage now. Just have to block 90. That doesn't sound hard, right? 90's easy. Look, look how easy it is. Easy. Hit. Yeah, it is. 8 by 15. Spooky. And yet. Can't be stopping me. It's just 72 damage. That's tempting. Not going to, though. Lightning orbs, go! GG. GG, Twitch chat. Get those eyes. GG! If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.